Oh God. Whoa. Okay. Ain't no so as you know, I have three Gigi's now, two exactly like this, and my normal NSP Gigi. And you might not know this, but there might be another Gigi coming exactly like mine from NSP that I'll be replacing with the one I'm using now. So she, you won't tell the difference. The only thing is her hair will be perfect. If you're one of those people who freak out because of doll nudity, well, you're gonna see it in this video because I don't wanna get her hair all over it. So I'm gonna be cutting all her hair off, but the fun part about cutting their hair off is you can like do things with it, but like you can cut it really short and give her like a fringe just to see what it looks like and then completely cut it off. So I'm gonna be taking off her clothes. So there we go. It's getting shorter. Let's try pixie cut. <laughs> Not that great. I hate cutting the hair because I feel so bad. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna cut it as short as I can and then tweezer it up. So it's been like 20 minutes. Yep, 20 minutes and hardly anything has come off. It, it takes a while guys, so be patient when you're doing this. So it's been a lot longer and as you can see, there's a lot of progress. Um, it's just like little stubble now, so it's much better. This is the wig cap. It's currently wet with glue. Um, if you want a tutorial on this, I can, but pretty much what I did is I put plastic to protect the doll on the first, I put on the doll, tied an elastic, then put a stretchy fabric here and put glue all around it with the elastic bands so it stays. And when it's done, I'll just cut it into shape. Um, the hair should be coming in a couple days, so I guess the next update will be in a couple days. Hey guys, I'm finally back. I know it's only been like a couple seconds for you, but finally, finally the hair came. This is a piece of it. Oh, it is so soft. Like, I can't describe how soft it is. It's like if, I guess, my dog's it's hair. It's super long and I like conditioned it. I feel like this is what it would feel like because I have an Australian Shepherd. If you don't know what that is, no one really does. But um, I have two of these. I don't know if it'll be enough, but hopefully it will. Uh, I have the wig cap, so I have two. I have this one here, and this one that's more shaped, but I think I'm gonna use the one that's less shaped, because the one that's more shaped um, fits kind of weirdly on her, like it fits perfectly, but as you can see, this one like lays completely flat on her head, yet this one here kind of goes up on the sides. So I'm gonna start gluing it, and obviously I'm not gonna glue the cap to her head, but I'm gonna start putting the hair on like this, so around the top, and then I guess I'm just going to kind of improvise. I mean, I've never done this, so it's not like I'm professional, but we're gonna try. And as you can see, the hair does match her eyebrows, and that's why I got it. So I did cut it in half, um, because it is already, like, long enough to be her hair. And just to do it, I'm just using this Create a Monster, because obviously, um, I love this, but, um, I, I would rather somehow put glue on her head than my Gigi's. So I'm using Matte Mod Podge to glue it on. So obviously this looks really bad, but it's gonna be all under the wig. I just covered bits that the wig does not cover so then I can put it up in a ponytail. Here's the wig. I'm gonna cover the whole head now in glue and add on the wig. So this is a style I kind of chose. It's kind of like a side parting. Guys, I, as messy as this hair is, I love it so much. It looks, I think it looks so nice because it matches her eyebrows. I kind of wish the eye makeup wasn't there, like the blue, but I think she just looks really good. I'm really happy with it. So everyone, this is Georgie, um, my new custom doll. So everyone, sorry for the crappy webcam quality. <laughs> um, this is Georgie. I keep forgetting your name. Georgie, got it, got it. Um, I, I'm happy. I'm like, I didn't think it would end up good, honestly, but it did. Initially, it was supposed to be a wig that I could take off when I wanted, but then I was like, never mind, the wig just doesn't want to stay on anymore, so I just glued it on, which is fine. I love it. Anyways, um, <laughs> um, so since her hair is alpaca hair. Oh God. Whoa. Okay. Ain't nobody going with my click, 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 click. Ain't nobody fresher than my alpaca hair which I'll try if I can find it again. Link the Etsy shop down below. Um, since it's alpaca hair, it can be curled with a curling iron, like normal hair ones. And usually on my hair, I use 360 degrees Celsius, but on her I use 180, which is 
Siri, what is? Oh my God, Siri, let me speak. Siri, what is 180 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit? The answer is 356 degrees Fahrenheit. Got it. There you go. 356 degrees Fahrenheit for you Americans or whoever uses it. I don't know. I think it's the U.S. probably. That's like a lot. Like when I say 180, it's like, yeah, it's really low. Like you, comment down below here if you use Fahrenheit. If, like when you say 360 degrees Fahrenheit, if that's a lot for you in the U.S. I don't know. Um, I hear you. That, that made no sense. I'm showing myself. Um... I don't know, I'm kind of not, I'm like leaving the face out, but like at least you guys can see kind of that I'm not like an 80 year old man. <laughs> um, so <laughs> yeah, um, do you guys want to see my face? Okay, ready? Three, two, one. All just kidding, enjoy these blooper guys. Blooper? Bloopers. I guess this is a blooper. And here's all the hair. And this is George. Oh. So soft. So I'm using Matte Mod Podge. Blah, blah, blah. Oh God. Wow. Okay. I bet that no one's watching this right now, and I just filmed this whole thing for nothing. I mean, like most people, I I usually usually stay till the end of the video, but like. Most people don't. Shows my YouTube stats. You guys only watch two minutes of my videos, even though most of my my videos are two minutes. But um, if you've been here the whole video and you haven't just fast forwarded it, comment down below and don't lie. I'm hungry and I want fries because that is what I want right now. And I know, sadly, deep down, I'm not gonna get those fries today. And you know what? Bye, guys.